Welcome everyone. I'm Kimberly Boschman, and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at round two. We've made it through the first eclipse, um, the solar eclipse, and now we're gearing up for the full moon lunar eclipse that's going to be occurring on October 28th or 29th, depending on where you live within the world. So we're going to take a closer look at each life path number and what could be in store for um, the next storyline over the next six months from this eclipse that could be unfolding for you uh, personally. This, of course, is a general reading. So if you would like a personalized reading to get a better understanding of how your own personal numerology plays into the aspects of your life, then I'd love to take a look. You can work with me um, one-on-one. My information is in the description box below to book some time. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. So how's everyone doing out there? Um, how was that solar eclipse for you all? <laughs> This lunar eclipse, I think, is going to be a little bit more gentle um, in the way that it sort of uh, brings things in and sort of allows it to unfold. Um, That solar eclipse was a little bit more intense and held very intense energies uh, that we'll also be working with over the next six months. So these will kind of be um, sort of an interplay, right? They'll be working together in tandem. But this will kind of give you an idea of another sort of uh, perspective or viewpoint as far as um, another dose of energies that we'll be working with pretty significantly over the next six months to a year, depending So let's go ahead and take a look at each life path number forecast for this full moon lunar eclipse. Life path eight. So this full moon lunar eclipse is bringing in the energies of the eight and the nine. So you're going to be working with your own energy, but you're also going to be working with the energy of the nine. So we're going to talk about that in a moment. I've also pulled an anal wisdom message for you all, and you got macaw energy. And so this is sort of like... Um, the world in tarot. So there's something here about infinite possibilities, about sacred contracts, about beautiful new beginnings um, that can unfold for you over the next six months to a year. And because you're working with your own energy of the eight, as well as the energy of the nine, I would say that there is this component of there needing to be it needs to serve a bigger purpose. Whatever it is, whatever these new, big, beautiful beginnings are, if it has to do with career, um, creative output, your contribution in the world, money, resources, power, status, any of those things that are typically associated with eight energy has to have a strong element of integrity, right? There needs to be integrity behind it. And there needs to be a component of serving others or um, your creative output, your the um, your place in the world, whatever the case may be, has a greater purpose or a greater why, right? So whatever it is that you create at this time or you initiate, because remember, this is going to probably unfold over the next six months to a year. Whatever it is that you initiate, start, have a greater vision for, keep coming back to your why. Keep coming back to your why. Why am I doing this? What is my my purpose in doing this? Um, you know, what is the end goal? If the end goal is strictly uh, strictly around what you can get out of it. You know how successful you'll be, how much money you'll get, um, the big car, the twelve house, or the tw- the the big house and twelve cars, or whatever the case may be. Not that there's anything wrong with that, because you can certainly, you know, through your achievements, you can absolutely reap the rewards and enjoy those rewards. But there's definitely, you know, sort of ingrained within the eight energy already this this level of integrity. There has to be in order for it to stay secure and. Um, sort of within reach, there needs to be integrity. So, you know, if you come into a lot of money, you have to also circulate that money to share with others, to help uplift, empower, inspire others as well. Um, If you become very powerful, let's say, how are you going to use that power to help open doors for others? How are you going to help to, again, uplift, empower, inspire others? So part of the big, a big part of the journey of the eight is not only what can this world do for me, but what can I do for this world type thing? So then when you 
include the energy of the nine at this at the time of an eclipse that definitely is that humanitarian energy right it's the all so there's definitely something here where whatever it is whatever your greater vision is at the time of this eclipse or whatever comes in for you um, that has to do with those sort of eight themes again money power resources influence status um you know keep coming back to your why and make sure that within that why there is um, something to serve a greater purpose. You don't have to know what that's going to look like. You don't have to know the details of that. You just need to know that whatever it is that you're putting your energy into, there is a desire to not only serve self, but also help to up, uplift, empower, inspire others as well. Um so that really does need to be a, a big focus. And I do think that if you are engaged in something or working towards something that is very sort of um, more self-centered, you will likely face tremendous challenges around this eclipse and the months that follow to help to realign you, to, what, to get you to a place where it's not only self-serving, but it's also serving others as well. So I think that there's going to be a big emphasis on that. So keep that in mind. I think that if you have a strong why, like you, it also, it's not only about you, but it's also about others as well, um, then I think that you really will see things, you know, pick up and move very rapidly. And, you know, there are infinite possibilities with that uh, because the energy behind it is so strong. There's like a divine... Um, a, div a divine force behind it almost. So there is, again, we go back to like the sacred contracts where it's it's not just your purpose, the ego purpose, but the soul's purpose uh, coming out. So I do think for some of you, you could see big visions come in um, as far as like things you want to work towards, things you want to achieve over the next six months to a year, uh, where it is that you want to dedicate your energy and invest your time and resources into. And again, I would keep saying over the next six months to a year, make sure you keep coming back to your why. I would say that at any point in time for eights, uh, because it is such a strong piece of your energy, but especially when it's coupled uh, with nine energy at an eclipse, I would say there's a big emphasis on this. And you may see over the next six months to a year where things that don't have integrity fall away. So things you've been working on that are more self-serving, um, tend to fall away or you start struggling with it or facing a tremendous amount of challenges with it. So I would say, again, if there's certain areas um, that you're invested in that you start to face tremendous challenges with, come back to your why, you know, keep looking at that why. It For you, this lifetime is about not only um, serving, you know, a greater, serving your purpose, right? Like um, doing things that are self-serving, but also that serve others in a big way as well. There has to be that integrity. So strong theme there. Um, also with this energy, there is definitely something because nine energy can, can be about completion or release, right? So there is something here about releasing control, <laughs> not trying to control the outcome. You are responsible for the effort, not the outcome. Because with any outcome, there is a, a level of um, sort of divine partnership in it, meaning that we don't have control over every piece of the puzzle. And so I do think that you'll see um, things come to light where it is that you need to release con some control and surrender to something. Uh, so anywhere that you've been having to force something or or put too much pressure into something and you're not seeing a lot of sort of return of your investment I would say those are the areas you need to just sort of release surrender and and you know you've done your part so now let the universe do its part type thing definitely a lot here around more about receptivity you've done that you've put in the efforts so and now, now see what comes into you see what you know, shows up for you. The next step will present itself to you. You don't have to force it. Uh, there's definitely something there. So there's going to be areas within your life and it could be with relationships. It could be with career or whatever, or limit, you know, thought processes, whatever, where it is that you're trying to overly control something, pay close attention to that because you are being asked to, you know, loosen your grip, to let go, to surrender. 
And I'll bet you see things pick up much more quickly at that point, or at least your focus will be diverted towards the things that actually need your um, attention and your effort, right? So don't don't con- try not to continue to put effort and trying to control situations that um, you've done your part. Move back toward or move over towards the things that now require your attention. And you'll be shown that, right? When you release control on the things that you can't control, you'll be diverted to the areas that do need your attention. And that's where you put your attention. Um, so this is also a great time to close out loose ends. So if there's been any areas where you've been procrastinating, it's a great time to tie that up or tie those up, you know, get focused, tie them up, get them off your plate and create space for new things to come in. Because remember, this is also energy for you all for beautiful, big new beginnings, you know, infinite possibilities, as long as there's integrity behind them. So yeah, I love this. I love this for you all. Um, I think there's going to be a little bit of like self-reflection and really like kind of thinking about where it is that maybe you're trying to control or hold on too tightly to something um, that may be requiring some release or surrender. Um, So it'll be up to you to kind of move through that. But I hope it's a great eclipse. Eights, take care. Bye for now.